What's up guys, Tom here with another Master Duel video because you liked the last one so much. Today I'm going to explain how to easily build any deck you want as a free to play player. So the way this game is designed, the more you play, the more you get. So my best suggestion is before you even start playing the game, decide on a deck. Be it a Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, or one of the more meta decks, decide early what you want to build. After you decide that, figure out exactly which cards you need, which I use the public deck search feature to help me find a shell of a deck that would work and go from there. But don't use this shell as gospel since the public decks could have been made at any point and may be outdated, but they're a good starting point and might give you some good ideas. After that, go through whatever deck you picked, change out any cards you want to, and then grind. Doing the solo tutorials and collecting the mission rewards should net you enough gems to pull for what you're looking for. In my case with Dark Magician, I was able to pull on the secret pack for Dark Magician after pulling on the master pack a few times, since the secret packs unlock when you get cards related to an archetype. From there, pull as much as you need to to get what you want. You'll undoubtedly get a few cards you don't need, so then you want to use the crafting feature to get the cards you do want and complete your deck. To go into the crafting feature really quick, basically, this game allows you to trade cards for other cards. For example, if I need a Dark Magician, I can generate one for 30 UR points. How do I get these points? By dismantling other UR cards I do not need. For every UR dismantled, you get 10 points, no matter the rarity. So for a normal rare, I'd get 10 end points. Same for every other rarity. Basically, if you have any three UR cards you don't need, any UR in the game is very easily attainable. As I said, this particular strategy is especially only useful on a fresh file since the rewards do slow down, but after that, the battle pass is your best friend. It does give out these crafting points like candy, it's basically the main reward. Not to mention doing the single player content rewards with structure decks, which can be very helpful in getting some stable cards very easily. But that's really it for this very simple explanation. What deck are you going to be building right away with this? Let me know in the comments below. I need some new ideas to try out, man. This was just a very quick video. I'm working on the Dark Magician deck, but I haven't been able to finish it just yet. But if you guys enjoyed and want more Master Duel content, do me a solid and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. I may even start streaming Master Duel because it seems like such a chill thing to do. Should I? Let me know. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you next time.